look happy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome. This is your second B cuff. Uh, right, yes. Right. Okay. This is my first one. Well, hi, I'm Lisa. I'm the ukulele fool, and I'm here with Mark Peterson and, and B Cup at Brown County Ukulele Festival in Nashville, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day, and it's wickedly cold outside. Yeah. Wow. We're getting gusts from Minnesota here today. I right. think the Minnesotans brought it with them. Yeah, I did. So, I didn't um, get to play for those with that the cards. know me, I'm an academic, um, I and so is Mark. I know. <laughs> Somehow they let, let us get away with that. That's right. <laughs> we get to play that on campus. Except for I never go to campus. <laughs> but for real, for real life, it has to do with ukuleles. Right. So, Mark, this is part of the, the ukulele superpowers interview. What's your ukulele superpower? So I think uh, my there's a lot of superpowers floating around in the room in here. Oh, I know. And I think a lot of them share this, but mine is really, uh, I think it's being able to make people happy when they didn't expect to be happy. And I think I was telling you a story before. Uh, we've test driven this theory, so and here's how we did it. Uh, a, a core group from the Milwaukee Ukulele Club had been playing at nursing homes, mm -hmm. and uh, at one of these nursing homes was the mother of a guy who owned a bar and she told him to contact us so he could play in his so bar. Big, uh, so we did. And it was fun. And we got drinks and appetizers. And then six weeks later, uh, we were having a rehearsal together. And our guy, Dave, passed out money. And we said, what's this for? And he said, they paid us. And we said, why? <laughs> Everybody else has had this happen. So we've been playing out about once a month or so for about the last year or two now. And here's what we noticed, is that we're all sort of adequate, intermediate level kind of uh -huh. ukulele players. And we can all sing fairly well and harmonize. And so we couldn't figure out why they kept asking us to come back because we were just like, okay. But we realized after a while that... After the first 10 minutes, nobody's paying attention to the ukuleles, but they were paying attention to how much fun we were having, and at least the owners of the bars were, and so that's why they keep asking us back, and so we figure that must be the superpower of the band, because our playing is okay, but it's like, we keep thinking we can't be that good. Yeah, but it's about the fun. The joy and the fun that's seems to be contagious. Yeah, Before and there's something specific to ukuleles about that, that, which I guess this is exploring. Right, right. exactly, yeah. So, um, you have a day job, uh, the Clark Kent identity. I do, wait. Is this, which one is it? Where, where, I think these are, these are my funny, these are not my angry professor glasses. So my day job is I'm, I'm a professor of philosophy with the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. Uh, my dissertation work was in Hegel, but I work in Kierkegaard and Marx and existentialism. There, that's, that's pretty not Clark. very ukulele. It's pretty Clark Kenty. No, it's not really very ukulele at all. There's a wonderful counterpoint. Um, there's a lot of academics floating around, but there's the people come from every walk of life. Never learn or there's and there's this beautiful thing about the ukulele that brings everybody together. That you don't find this in other in other kinds of music, I think. So that's my day job. Um, but it also gives me an excuse to uh, think of, you know, I can claim I can actually be playing the ukulele and claim to be working out the philosophical implications of playing the ukulele. And then people think I'm kidding when I'm not. <laughs> well, uh, so speaking of not kidding, yes. why the ukulele? How did you, what was your pathway to coming to the ukulele? Oh, so, right, there's a very long story, but we'll try to truncate this. Okay. Um, I was born in Honolulu, strangely enough, I know. And so um, we moved back to the to the mainland in uh, after when I was two, and so there's all this ukulele music floating around in my skull that, that was latent, and like I think so many of us uh, about about 15 years ago now I think it must have been. Uh, somebody sent me a copy of the Jake Shimabukuro video in Central Park, and that sucker triggered some kind of latent frazzled impulse. And um, uh, did so one. I stewed about it uh, she I think for like a couple of months. Night. And, I uh, uh, you know, because you figure the enthusiasm will pass. 
and it didn't. And finally, fact, my wife said, buy the damn ukulele. And, and so I, I went online, and some of you will remember Music Guy Mike in uh, Honolulu. Uh, Did you I can there? sing well. Yeah. So, uh, and I, so I just I called him, and I said, instrument. this is what happened, and he was very understanding. <laughs> I, said, I said, here's about how much money I want to spend, and I got this great uh, Kala tenor, which I still have. It's now being converted into a Willie Nelson ukulele. I've played it so hard over the years. And um, that's sort of how it started. Oh, and then I'll, this is one other funny detail. This is about, this is like the magic of the ukulele to me. I wore through the strings in about six months. And I'm, I live in West Bend, Wisconsin, which is like out in the country. It's an hour northwest of Milwaukee. And so it's like, where am I going to get ukulele strings? So I went on... Uh, online and I found Easy Folk, which is one of the old good uh, websites. And there were, they had a ukulele section, so I put a note up and I said, uh, hey, where can I get ukulele strings from Wisconsin? And this guy who used to be part of the Milwaukee Festival named Neil Paisley wrote me back right away. And he said, uh, hey, you're in Wisconsin. I said, yeah. He goes, would you like to be involved in organizing the first uh, annual Milwaukee ukulele festival? And it was like, you know, it was like, follow the yellow brick road. So I said, what would it involve? And Neil wrote back and said, probably Mexican food. So this was like a sign from God. I felt like Belushi, you know, it's like, we're getting the band together. So um, I went down to Cielito Lindos. If you're ever in Milwaukee, they have the best mole. And uh, there was uh, there was the crew, uh, every folk stereotype imaginable, and, and run by Little Rev, Mark Robinson. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I got to meet everybody and my fellow lunatics in the Milwaukee that club. And we started the Milwaukee oh, yeah. Festival, which has been a huge success now. We're in like year 10 of that. And uh, yeah, we owe a lot to Little Rev who organized that stuff. And that's how I know all of the rest of these people eventually. So I, I, but what is it, right? I, I have, everything else that's happened to me like that has to do with ukuleles was that same thing where I asked about strings and then I was asked to have Mexican food and organize a ukulele festival. And it was like, follow the yellow brick road, but no wicked witch. <laughs> That's, there, there doesn't seem to be a wicked witch in the ukulele world. I haven't found one yet. Not me. <laughs> Not you. We'll see, we'll figure out who it is eventually. No, yeah. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. So, That's any fun. clues That's as to fun. why the ukulele seems to attract good-hearted people uh, and, and she it she has such a fun, I joyous I'm atmosphere surrounding it? I, mean, I think we all thought about this, right? right? I think everybody who plays too. wonders about I this. Think, um, I, mean, I don't play the guitar, so I haven't seen that. that counterpoint, but what I hear is that guitar players are like crazily competitive in ways that we don't seem to be. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I keep coming back to one idea, which is that when you play the ukulele, you can't take yourself too seriously. And if you run into people, and we've all had this happen, if you run into people who take themselves really seriously while playing the ukulele, they kind of out themselves as inauthentic, right? You can kind of tell, even if they're really good, but if they're too serious, it's like, there's something wrong with that. So, I don't think it's possible to, to be inauthentic while playing the ukulele. Yeah. I don't even know what that means yet. Yeah. That's, that's where I'm going with it. I'm sure there's a college textbook. We'll see. I haven't, they haven't let me get away with creating a philosophy of the ukulele course yet, but we'll look into it. Um, I guess the other thing is that uh, there's, this, there's a kind of an amateur sense yeah. To the thing, so it's like uh, we're gonna have Stu Fuchs here, for instance, who is, you know, but everybody who I've ever met, uh, I'm talking about the really the, the best players, are the kindest, happiest people I've ever been around, and it's just how does that happen? So. Yeah. There's some kind of weird magic we haven't identified yet. How about that? Very good. The weird magic of ukulele. I'm, I'm totally down with that. Well, Mark, it has been such a pleasure talking with you, and, and I'm sure throughout this weekend we'll talk more. Yeah, it'll be great fun. And it'll be really fun. That you're gonna, everybody here are pretty hardcore. Most everybody here has been to at least 
six or seven of the Ukulele World Congresses. And I'll just preface this by saying, so I, I can say this here, one of the weird things about coming to the Brown County Festival is that all, we see all these people here, but none of us are used to seeing each other in normal clothes or clean, and none of us had to stop to get ice on the way into Nashville. Perfect. So there you go. Anyway, thanks. This has been really great. Thank you, Mark. This has been wonderful. And thanks a lot. Until next time, next interview. I hope you found this Ukulele Superheroes interview inspiring. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. I always have a philanthropic endeavor as part of my Patreon efforts. You can see my current goal and maybe consider contributing to that. Thank you so much.